So for this first video, I wanted to do a quick short run through of some ways to think about connection and one quick exercise you can do to look up a connection. Uh, if we look at Ike as the union of opposing forces in me, we need to know what that feels like and we need to have an entry point into understanding that as a concept. So uh, we're going to be looking at the bows, specifically the bows of the arms, and an exercise from Dan Harden called the yoke. This is a very introductory exercise. Anybody who's been to any of his seminars anywhere in the world will certainly have seen this exercise, so it's not secret information by any means. Um, if I use slightly different terms than maybe you saw when you've seen him or other people realize that I may be changing things up a little bit, um, or I may simply be using terms that he used previously and he's changed how he's talking about things. Um, with that said, let's look at how we can use the bows of the arm to develop a, opposing forces in me and feel that connection. So, this is going to help us understand what connection in the body feels like and how that's different than muscular tension or skeletal, skeletal connection. So let's take a look. So for this exercise, you're going to need to start with a wall. Uh, you can't have a partner be uh, there for you, but it's, you can do this by yourself just with a wall. It's one of the nice things about this exercise is it gives the ability to feel connection and start understanding what's going on without having to have much feedback from anybody else. So um, what you're going to do is stand in kind of a T stance, legs just outside of shoulder width, and you want to be so that you're exactly touching the wall just barely with your middle finger from here. Palms are down, shoulders are in their sockets, pulling up through the top of the head, you can stack if you want to, meaning let your bones settle across the body. We're really looking at the kind of chest line through the arms. So this is called the yoke, kind of like a yoke is in like a, a ox cart, not the egg. <laughs> so as you're standing here, the goal is to begin to bow the arms, meaning the middle joint, one, two, three, moves perpendicular to one and three. So the hand comes on a straight line towards the shoulder while the elbow goes perpendicularly down. If you can, try to have a little bit of intent outwards with the elbow, but it's not necessary right now. So the goal of this exercise is the impossible task of bowing your arms while not letting your fingers come off from the wall or letting your shoulder go to the wall. So I'm gonna start here and I'm going to exaggerate the movement so you can tell which direction I'm going. Once you get this down, there's almost no perceptible motion from the outside. It's purely a feeling inside. So from here, I'm going to reach as hard as I can through my arms in both directions while simultaneously letting the elbow pull out and down and away. And you'll see there's a little bit of bow to my arms. This should feel very, it's kind of a strange feeling. It's a tug. So I'm not clenching my muscles, but as I do this, I do feel an ache that takes on both sides of the arm, through the shoulders, down through the back, across the chest. It's not entirely comfortable, but it's not painful. But you're really trying to feel an ache as you desperately try to bow the elbows more while not letting them come off from the wall or go towards the wall. Hold that for like 10 seconds. And then release. You don't want to hold these very long, that's it's not great. You want to have the practice of getting into this position. Wall, reach up, stack yourself, bow, create the yoke. Release, shake it out. And again, I'm exaggerating how much I'm bending the arm. If I do this exercise without the wall, that's basically all the movement I get. Because that's enough movement for me to now feel that same connection. I can feel that pull on both sides of the arms, through the back, all the way down in my lower back, across the chest. And then the goal after you've been doing this for a little while is start to bring that feeling into other postures to start getting it into your legs, to start feeling that same feeling through the back bow and expanding what that connection feels like. Ideally, as you train what connection feels like in you, 
you expand that chain through the body. So you start feeling it in your feet and in your legs and in your calves and through the IT bands and across the glutes. And you can feel that ache kind of on demand, which is partly one of the goals for recruiting tissue and having dual opposing forces. This is a little bit like the uh, Aikido unbendable arm trick. If you've ever been in a Key Society dojo or a Tohei influence dojo, there's the whole thing of like shooting key out your hands, reaching for that $100 bill. And when somebody tries to bend your elbow, it's very hard for them to do so. Versus when you're clenching, it's relatively easy for them to force that elbow shut. The problem with this, in my opinion, is it's very simplistic and it's not dual opposing forces. It's one way. You are shooting key or intent, whatever you want to call it, out away from you. And you're kind of getting rid of it, for lack of a better term. It makes you strong, but you're very limited. You can't really bend the arm while you're doing this because you're just shooting key or whatever you want to call it. If you let gut go and you start to bend, that takes away from your ability to remain rigid and remain stable. With this dual opposing, I get all the benefits of that extending key fire hose arm, but I can bend, open and move, and I'm free to move. I'm not tight, but I have a lot of stability. I have, again, connection. I have dual opposing forces in me, which is the beginning and the precursor for having actual high key. So give that a shot. Um, again, try to do two whole minutes of that, like 10 seconds on, five seconds off. Do it two minutes a day for a week or two and just see what you find, play with it. Uh, it's really up to you to be able to do these things. Knowing what's there isn't gonna help you as much as actually doing it and feeling it. So give that a shot, thanks.